Welcome to FOMO Consulting for your daily AMC stock analysis video on Saturday, June 26th. Ladies and gentlemen, expect a huge breakout next week, and I'll show you why very shortly. But as always, the apes are winning, the diamond hands are winning, most importantly, the retail investors winning. So if you find this video informative and entertaining, please like, share, certainly comment, and most importantly, subscribe. It's a newer channel, and I would appreciate the support. Let's get into the video. So thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you. Let's start with a quote. Beliefs should make way for facts. As each and every one of you are well aware, there are a lot of FUD pieces, hit pieces, social media posts, uh, paid bot shills, whatever you want to call them, that are trying to make you think this is over to discourage you. But I'm here to tell you we are on the cusp of a new bull run, and I'll show you very shortly why. So let's look at the broader market from yesterday. S&P all-time high, up 14 points. Dow up 237 points. Uh, the Dow is having a pretty good recovery week. NASDAQ down nine, and Russell basically flat. Overall, not a bad way to end the week. Uh, certainly, I would hope that the overall economy is recovering and the stock market is wrapping their heads around it. So as we all know, uh, a lot of rebalancing around the Russell yesterday and this past week, 002 and other regulations coming into play. So overall, it was just kind of a odd week to say the least, but I am very, very bullish going into next week. As of this morning, crypto again down just a bit uh, overall, but again, it's just in a correction period, I guess is the best way to put it. A lot of nerves, anxiety around that. But overall, you know, Bitcoin's holding strong above that 30,000 level. Doge seems to have plateaued out in the low 20 cent range, uh, hopefully making a recovery. And I believe it all will. So overall, crypto, again, uh, just kind of very volatile lately. Always fun to look at, pre timing. Certainly very bullish going into next week. We will see. Well done, German apes. We rely on the German apes uh, to get the morning started out right. Overall, they uh, had a very similar day as we did, $45.39, down 3.92%. But no worries whatsoever. We will recover this upcoming week. AMC had a fantastic day, in my humble opinion. Uh, we are very, very well set up for next week. Uh, as much as they shorted us over this past week, millions and millions and millions of shares shorted, we held the line. They could not press us down. We recovered to close at $54.06, down $2.64, or 4.66%. Uh, Up after hours, we closed about $0.16. Cents. So overall, no big deal in my opinion. We are, again, perfectly set up, and I'll show you why. So this is the five-day look uh, on the five-minute chart for the entire trading week from last week. As you can see, they tried their absolute best to short it down. We held strong. Uh, certainly that $54 level, uh, $52 level is a major, major support, and it should give you some comfort uh, when we get there and bounce because there is very, very strong support at those levels. So let's look at the bigger picture here. So overall, again, $50 we own. We've been bouncing around between the 50 and 60 for several weeks now, uh, and that is a good thing, and I'll show you. So pretty cool little uh, analysis off of my personal Fidelity account uh, where the yellow arrow is. Our preference, as long as $49.50 is support, look for $79.10. And obviously it gives other considerations around resistance and support, but overall, I thought that was very, very bullish, and it pretty much aligns with my thinking. So let's look at uh, the one-hour chart. Again, $60 is a key level to break through. We are clearly on an uptrend and somewhat of a wedge, pennant, whatever you want to call it, but overall, the indicators have been reset now, uh, and we are ready for another bullish run. So what I want to show you uh, is technical analysis. It's called hidden bullish divergence. So let's take a look at this. So obviously we know $60 is a key level, right? <clears throat> so if you look back to the big run up we had late May, early June, we certainly fell off, uh, but the price action somewhat fell in line with uh, the MACD and RSI, right? So more currently over the last couple of weeks, 
we've been making higher lows. Uh, the indicators have been making lower lows, as you can see, creating a bullish divergence. Bullish divergences, not guaranteed by any stretch, but are certainly very, very bullish indicators uh, of, an, of a big price push in the very near future. So we are near that uh, the end of that run. So let me show you something. The yellow indicator that I'm showing you now, every time we've gotten down to those levels touched, we bounce and have a nice uh, bull run. The price action responds accordingly, as you can see. So if you look each and every time, we run. We are now at the end of this run. We are in a hidden bullish divergence uh, from a technical analysis standpoint. But if you look at the volumes, the volumes were very low before we started our push to break the $14 level uh, back in early May. Volumes were very low as we plateaued out, hung around that channel before we ran up into the 20s. Volumes were very low, as you can see, uh, before we ran back up and tested 60 again. Again, volumes fell off and then spiked as we tried to break the $60 level again. And here we are at lower volumes yet again. I am very, very bullish about next week. So let's look at it from a different perspective. Again, a little bit zoomed in. You can certainly see big run up. Price action, pretty much well mirror of the uh, MACD and RSI. Now we are clearly on a, at least holding the line, if not on a slight uptrend from a uh, higher low perspective and creating a big bullish divergence. As you can see, MACD, RSI all trending down. And again, we are down in that critical level on the RSI. Again, Looking at the volumes, lower volumes, big spike, we push up. Lower volumes, spike, push up. Lower volume, spike, push up. And again, RSI, when we're down in those levels and we get near that uh, 30 level, we clearly bounce and we head back upwards. Very, very bullish. <clears throat> so let's look again. Here's where we are currently. Again, we are on a slight uptrend and flat is still a win on the price action. Uh, bullish divergence again, zooming in. Very, very bullish. RSI, we bounce each and every time. So let's take out the candles and go to a different indication. Uh, let's see what this looks like. So again, when we ran up, ran back down, as you can see, price action followed the indicators. That's bearish. Now, as you can see, the price action, higher lows, and then the indicator is lower lows, bullish divergence. Very, very bullish. I think next week is going to be huge. So let's test the theory in reality based on history. So this is GME going back a couple of months. So you can see this period of time. Uh, this was in, let's call it mid-May. We had a huge divergence. Price was flat, if not going up. RSI, MACD, all trending down. Hidden bullish divergence shortly after a big price run. Alligator's mouth wide open, right? Let's look at it again. Price going upwards, higher lows. Indicators on the lower low. Big divergence, big price jump. So yet again, price going up. Indicators going down, big price jump. So again, history uh, can show us the future. I think we are poised for a big breakout this week. I believe the volumes will pick up. Uh, the smart money knows this uh, far better than us, and they underestimate our ability to see these things in the charts and certainly do not believe that we uh, can match their wits. So let's take one more look. So before the big run up, you can see bullish hidden divergence. Then we popped. Bearish, follow the price action down, no problem. Here we are again, higher lows on the price action, lower lows on the indicator, and I believe we will pop. If you look again at the RSI indicators, every time we uh, get down in that level, around 30, if not lower, 
we pop each and every time we are poised for a breakout so again uh f9 opening day was last night the overall sentiment was they hoped to do 50 to 70 million for the weekend they already did 36.6 million domestically on opening night that is absolutely huge on a friday night i'm expecting personally that this movie will likely exceed the 70 to 80 million range which will only drive a lot of uh, positive media around the box office uh, around ticket sales around amc setting us up beautifully again for next week so let's talk about social media sentiment so this is a uh, chart going back uh, for a couple of months or so as you can see uh, the overall trend of social media sentiment around amc stock it's an interesting look but keep in mind our opponent uses this there to their advantage when they see it going down uh, they attack right they want to drive social media sentiment uh, they want to drive behavior uh, into fear on red days as you can see so it, it's funny if you look most recently on the far right price action's been going down so has social uh, media sentiment right so let's look at it from a different perspective overall 1.8 percent of all portfolios hold amc that is very very interesting overall very positive from an investment sentiment perspective looking at it from another perspective so this <clears throat> is an interesting look where our opponents and all of the FUD media articles what have you is very very bearish 61 percent against AMC however the sector average is very bullish but you can certainly look at the names 39 percent of the blogger article distribution is investor place huh 34 percent is seeking alpha you don't say 22 percent motley fool so you can clearly see the overall volume of articles of bloggers of sentiment is clearly clearly meant to des uh, and designed to instill fear uncertainty and doubt so again different look by publisher you can certainly see motley fool seeking alpha investor place are all at the top of the list and they are all bearish for the most part so a quick ortex check 433 institutional investors 14 are now short that is an increase of two bring it on 97 million shares on loan they borrowed 4.1 yesterday and returned 3.59 they're idiots <laughs> utilization 91 percent and growing 18.67 percent short interest likely higher so again the trend lines indicate that as well as you can see the estimated short interest has skyrocketed uh, over the last couple of days now it is above the price action point i believe this is very very so i've shown this over the last couple of days so 58 days at its highest point was the longest average of the short positions on amc an average of 58 days in those positions which goes back to around when we were 10 bucks we are now at 31 days but nothing fundamentally has changed i do believe they have covered some of those older positions and simultaneously uh reshorted uh which is why i think you're seeing such heavy shorting this past week uh the indicator would show this uh that the sh they've shortened the time frame substantially the borrow fee has gone down as we all know but the short interest has gone up so they are doubling down nothing has changed fundamentally and the indicators would show it and that 60 dollars level i believe we will break easily this week options uh, nothing too terribly exciting to talk about here uh, 49,000 expired in the money this week i believe this uh, upcoming week will be more bull so call to put ratio is still very very bullish overall nothing too terribly crazy we did have about a million volume so uh yesterday so that was very very bullish and as well as you can see call to put volume uh 
the call volume is nearly double, so no big deal. We are certainly uh, in a very, very bullish sentiment around AMC stock, and it continues to be so down the line. Always fun to look at. Nothing has changed too terribly much on this. I believe this will uh, come to fruition one day, someday soon, hopefully, but I am very, very bullish going in next week. Uh, based on that divergence that's in the charts. It may not be Monday, who knows when it'll be, but the indicators all lead to a major bullish push in the next couple of days. Let's close with a quote. Get your facts first, then you can distort them as you please by Mark Twain. <laughs> so overall, obviously, facts are facts and the truth is truth. There's a lot of misinformation out there, a lot of hit pieces, FUD, uh, bot shills, whatever you want to call it. At the end of the day, the facts uh, are the facts, whether it's the chart, the indicators, uh, the key data and metrics, uh, or text and what have you. Uh, rely on that. That is how you make your best decisions. So as always, I want to thank you for watching found the video informative and entertaining i hope you like share certainly comment and most importantly subscribe it is a newer channel and i would appreciate your support but as always i hope you have a great weekend and your life is full of green candles take care see you soon